All right, guys, we have a really exciting video for today, something that we've been working on for a really long time, and it's always exciting when we share something brand new that we've put a lot of time and effort into. So this is the Magma Project, which is what we're naming the Red Stripe Clown. Um, as many of you know, I've been working on Red Stripes for a really long time. I love the project, I love the supers. It's a really neat, underrated morph. Um, and about two years ago on a podcast, I mentioned that I really love Red Stripes and I'm excited to see what they can do. And uh, right after that, I immediately started getting messages. Justin, we know you've made the Red Stripe Clown. Please show us the Red Stripe Clown. Well, at that point, it was all theoretical. I'd never actually made one. I, I barely made hats. Um, but here we are, fast forward almost two years, and we finally made some of the really awesome animals that I was envisioning back then. And uh, it's such a pleasure to be able to share them with you today. Guys, this is the Magma Project. You're gonna love it. It's been something that I've wanted to show for a really long time. And, but the part of what's kept me from doing it before now was I wanted to make a regular red stripe clown. To me, I can't, I don't think it's right to show a project if you can't show the basics of it so people can understand what it does. Um, so this is, you're probably thinking, wow, that is not impressive. Well, this is a regular clown. This is a nice um, regular clown that we're putting out here for comparative purposes. You know, clowns, uh, I mean, most of you know what, what clowns do, but they are a genetic black-backed animal. And, uh, you know, typically you have these teardrops with the white centers. Um, of course, there's tons of amazing genes that we can layer onto the clown to make it do different things, look different ways. Um, and today we're gonna talk about the red stripe gene in the clown. So this is the red stripe clown, side by side with the regular clown. Now we've decided to name this red stripe clown project the Magma Project. Um, and the reason why I went with that name was it actually looks like it has a crack or a fissure kind of coming out of the back there with this nice deep burgundy red coming out of the back of the stripe. Really, really cool. Um, really, really impressed with this animal. I wasn't sure how it would look or, or without the other genes. Red stripe is a gene that by itself, you know, is mostly overlooked. Um, it's not until we've started making some of the really cool red stripe combos that people say, wow, this something actually can do with this gene. You know what, that's true of most genes. Most genes people overlook until, until the really cool stuff is made. One of the other hallmarks of the red stripe clown is this head pattern. You see here it has these, um, you know, my first instinct was to call them horns. A buddy of mine said, no, those are totally Beats by Dre, those are headphones. Um, you can look at it either way. You can look at it as earmarks, but that seems to be a trait that kind of follows across the different red stripe clown combos that I'm going to show you today, um, plus this incredible color in back. This is our first look at a red stripe clown in a pattern mutation. Um, this is the spot nose red stripe clown or the spot nose magma ball. Um, really, really impressed by this head pattern. That's the number one feature that came out. It still has these markings here. Um, on the ears, um, similar, but they're changed up a bit by that uh, spot nose clown pattern. And a really incredible head, very different, very, very surprising how that turned out. Um, the other thing is it brings in some really nice reds into the uh, black back here, into the dorsal. Um, it opens up the teardrops and makes them uh, more pixelated, more red. Really, really incredible how that turned out. Overall, an amazing animal, but that head, I can't get over it. Okay, so we're gonna jump right to one of my very favorites. This is the Coral Glow Red Stripe Clown. Um, and you see here, all of those really cool hallmarks of the Red Stripe Clown moved right through onto this snake. Nice blush burgundy black back here. Um, it still has the, the headphones or horns, the ears, you name it. It still has that exact same kind of trident type pattern on it. We just came with four different names for it. Um, a really, really awesome animal. And it has a really nice color, really. It's very, very orange. Super, super clean and beautiful. Usually at the beginning of the year, I kind of have a certain clutch or a certain pairing that I think is gonna throw the animal that is just best suited to, to show the, the project off that might just be the perfect mix of genes. And this year it came down to one clutch. This clutch is actually laid at Tinley Park um, in the fall and my wife is the one who set it up. And I remember telling her and I told Chase, like, 
if there's any clutch that's gonna do it, it's it's this one. We just got we just gotta really put all our eggs in this one basket. This is gonna be the clutch that really shows us where it's at for this project. And I'm so excited I can finally show the amazing result of that clutch. Can't believe it. it's very, very fortunate that it worked out the way it did. Let's check out that animal now. The color and the pattern of this animal is just pure insanity. And it really shows, first of all, what can be done with the right genes in the Red Stripe Clown Project. And it also shows off what can be done with clowns in general, the fact that we're really just scratching the surface. I don't care how many years we've been working on this and making different things, we're so far from done, guys. We have so much to do. Um, this animal is just insane, just absolutely insane. Thanks so much for watching that. We really enjoyed putting it together for you. And we want to give a big shout out to all of our subscribers, our viewers, customers, and our colleagues. It's, it's because of all of you that we get to do this for a living. We're so excited to be able to come to work and work with these amazing animals and try to imagine the next level of things. It's really amazing. Um, I also get to talk with probably at least a dozen of you every week or every day just about. Um, and it's really, really exciting to hear the kind of the diversity of thought, all the different projects that people are working on, what they're excited about. It's a really rich ecosystem of people and we're so thankful to be a part of it. Um, we're looking forward to seeing a lot of you guys in Tinley actually. We're gonna bring a few of the really cool animals, just talk about the projects, talk about what you're excited about and we're looking forward to meeting a lot of you there. We're gonna have the brand new t-shirts. This is brand new, we just got them in and we're gonna be able to have them at the show for some of you as well. We're looking forward to it. Thanks so much, YouTube. Till next time.